Today, I'm going to take you behind the scenes in our factory to see exactly how we made these awesome sandblasted mirror displays. I'm Sam, your Mirror Illusion Specialist here at MirrorIllusions.com. Excited to get started? Hit that like button below and let's go! Before we get into the nitty gritty of how we treat our mirrors, let's first learn a little bit about sandblasting in general. Sandblasting first came into existence when Benjamin Chu Tightman patented his invention in 1870. Legend has it that when Tightman was a general in the army, he saw the effects that windblown sand had on the windows in the desert and was inspired to invent his sandblaster. How neat is that? Let me know in the comments if you like hearing the history behind topics like this. Now if you didn't know, sandblasting is only one of many abrasive blasting techniques out there. It can be both used to remove particles on hard to clean surfaces, as well as create unique works of art through etching. You might be asking yourself, so how does it work? What happens is that an abrasive material, in this case the sand, gets propelled through an air compressor, and then gets blasted against the surface of whatever material you choose. In our case, we use glass mirrors. The overall effect is similar to rubbing sandpaper all over the surface, except with sandblasting, you get a nice even finish all around. Can you tell me some of the other abrasive blasting techniques out there? Let me know in the comments below. First things first, you need to cut your glass. We begin with taking our first surface mirror and cutting it down to the desired size and shape we want. If you didn't know, a first surface mirror is just a mirror with an optical grade coating on the top of the glass. They are also known to prevent ghosting. This is where a double image can be seen when you place your finger onto the surface, as most standard mirrors do. Once your glass has been cut to size, cleaned, and you have your design in mind, the magic can begin. Grab your glass and head over to your sandblaster. Put on proper safety materials to do this next step. Remember, pressurized sand is going to get blasted out onto the surface. The next step is to make sure the sandblaster is on and you're in a well-ventilated area with nobody else around. Grab the hose and aim your nozzle at your glass piece. Do this until your entire piece is evenly coated. Take your time with this part. Once you're satisfied with where things are, pull your piece out and remove the protective laminate covering your glass mirror. Clean things off with some water or glass cleaner and grab a microfiber towel to dry things off. You can create a piece like this for any occasion, whether it be for the holidays or recreating a design that your favorite band, TV show, or video game has. The possibilities are endless. Well, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how we made these amazing displays. Think you can make something better than what we have here? I challenge you to tag our page with a design of your very own. I would love to see what you guys get up to making. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this video and if you plan to make a design of your own. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned until my next video. Thanks for watching.